Actually, Belgium has a long history of excellence in the fintech sector. We merged our payment scheme, Bank Contact Mr. Cash, over 40 years ago. We host the SWIFT and Euroclear headquarters. And more recently, we launched our identity management, It's Me, with great success, together with initiatives such as Contactless Payconic, which was massively accelerated in its adoption during the sanitary crisis. I am positive these adoptions are here to stay. And I'm quite sure that our Belgian reputation of excellence in the fintech sector won't change and should not change in the world after, as it's vehemently called in the, in the invitation to the summit. Our fintech startups and scale-ups have begun a lot of recognized initiatives in payment, lending, alternative financing and personal finance. This should not come as a surprise. As Belgium and especially Brussels is truly the centre of Europe, the centre where a lot of new regulations are decided, on open banking and crypto assets to name a few. In this manner, Belgium initiatives can enjoy great proximity with rules decision makers. I haven't even mentioned how well positioned we are with respect to growing regulation in the technology segment of this industry. I deem it needless to remind us all that Belgium has a lot of strong assets for investors and entrepreneurs. We have modern infrastructures, admired education, our universities are world-renowned for their innovative research centers and are breeding grounds for spin-offs in numerous high-tech sectors. The quality of life we have to offer is among the best in the world. I would be gleeful to see Belgians more confident and proud of our peace-sized country. We should radiate these assets and accomplishments more often as to make it more self-evident that we can usher in strong and mature expertise in the fintech sector. It is therefore a restated objective by our government to be not only ambitious but also proactive in this sector that is creating immense value for our country and economy. This new government, ladies and gentlemen, is committed to craft a plan to boost our economy. Needless to say that such a boost is necessary as the challenges that lie ahead and their impact on the economy are numerous, even though they also contain opportunities, especially for the fintech sector. Never let a good crisis go to waste.